So in this lecture, I want to talk about completing the square. So let's say you have a general quadratic equation that looks like a x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. We can take this equation and rewrite it so it looks like a x squared plus bx plus half of b squared equals c plus half of b squared. So the goal is to make a perfect trinomial on the left hand side. Let's work through an example. So in this first example we have a squared plus 2a minus 3 equals 0. The first thing we want to do is rewrite this into our neater form. So what we have to do is add 3 to both sides. So this equation is going to go to a squared plus 2a, I'm going to leave a blank here, equals 3, and I'm going to leave another blank. So now what we have to do is take half of b and square. Our b in this case is 2. So we have to divide that by 2, and then we square it. And that's what goes here. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is just 1. So I'm going to add 1 here. I'm going to add 1 here. So this equation further simplifies to 8 squared plus 2a plus 1 equals 4. So now what I can do is I can factor my a squared plus 2a plus 1. And I can use the magic box for that. So that's what I'm going to do. So we have the a squared here, we have our 1 here, and we have our 2a here. So the goal of the magic box is that these two terms have to multiply together to give you a squared, these two terms have to multiply together to give you 1, and then the products of both of them when you multiply horizontally have to give you 2a. Let's work through it. So a and a give you a squared. 1 times 1 gives you 1. a times 1 is just 1a. And a times 1 is just 1a. So 1a plus 1a gives you 2a. So therefore, this is going to factor to a plus 1 as well as a plus 1. I'm going to write that over here. a plus 1 times a plus 1. And this is going to give you 4. So now, a plus 1 times a plus 1, I can just rewrite that as a plus 1 squared gives you 4. And this further simplifies, right, if I take the square root of both sides, I get a plus 1 equals plus or minus 2. So I'm going to end up with two answers. Let's work through one of them first. So let's say I have a plus 1 equals positive 2. I subtract 1 from both sides, and a would give me 1. Now, we can also assume, right, that we have a plus 1 equals negative 2. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get a equals negative 3. So those are going to be our two solutions. Let's do another problem. So in this equation, I have p squared minus 8p plus 21 equals 6. I first have to rearrange this equation by minusing 21 from both sides. So let's do that. So I have p squared minus 8p. Remember, there's going to be a blank here. And this is going to equal 6 minus 21. And then there'll be another blank. So what goes in our blanks is going to be b squared. 
So in this case, our b is negative 8. And we have to take half of that and square it. And that goes here, as well as on the right-hand side. So half of negative 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. So I'm going to write plus 16 plus 16. So this is going to simplify, right? Because we have negative 21 and, well, 16 and 6 is just going to be 22. So we have negative 21 and positive 22, right? So this is just going to give us. Yeah, I'm going to rewrite it. We're going to end up with b squared minus 8p plus 16 equals 22 minus 21, which just gives us 1. So this is going to be p squared minus 8p plus 16 equals 1. Now, I can factor my left hand side. And I can use the magic box to do that. So let's do that. So I have p squared here. I have 16 here. And I have negative 8 p here. So p and p will give me p squared. 4 and 4 would give me 16. But they both have to be negative 4. So when I multiply across, I get negative 4p. And I also get negative 4p. And when I add those up together, I get negative 8p. So p minus 4 times p minus 4 would would be my factor. So I have p minus 4 times p minus 4, and this is going to equal 1. And I can further rewrite this as p minus 4 squared equals 1. So when you take the square root, This is going to give you p minus 4 equals plus or minus 1. So when we evaluate our two answers, right, let's evaluate our two answers. So first we'll have p minus 4 equals positive 1. So if you add 4 to both sides, P would give you 5. Now we have P minus 4 equals negative 1. And if we add 4 to both sides, P would give you 3. 